We came here this morning shortly after uh, the Nevada Democratic Party made the announcement on Twitter. We were told that a rep for the party was not available for an interview, but we did speak with local experts about what this means for the Nevada caucus in just a few weeks. The first caucus of the election season is not off to a great start. Well, it looks like it's going to be a long night, but I'm feeling good. An app designed to collect and share caucus data in Iowa is causing a major delay in the outcome. I have a strong feeling that at some point the results will be announced. Laura Martin is the executive director of Progressive Leadership Alliance of Nevada and an expert on caucus procedure. The app that they were using, I believe it's called Shadow, was not reporting all the results. She says the problem with the app didn't stop there. They are asking people, the precinct captains, to call in with their results. But then those precinct captains were being put on hold for one hour, two hours, and then kind of giving up. The Nevada Democratic Party took note of the caucus chaos in Iowa and today released a statement saying it would not be using the same app or vendor used in the Iowa caucus. There was about 1,600 precincts calling 12 lines all at once, a disaster. Dr. Joseph Francis Carlton is a political science professor at College of Southern Nevada. He says it is unlikely we will see a repeat of what happened in Iowa when Nevadans go to caucus on February 22nd. I think indeed the Nevada Democratic Party, in terms of how they conduct their caucus in a, in a little while, they're going to be super careful about any technical problems. They're going to make sure they test whatever software they're using. I'm sure they're going to vet it out now hardcore. Do you know how, what, what's going to be used on February 22nd? Nope. <laughs> I think that, you know, tomorrow here at the plan's office in Las Vegas, we're going to do a caucus training. The party helps facilitate those trainings, and I hope we'll have answers then. And you may remember over the summer there was talk about a virtual caucus for people who couldn't attend the caucus in person. They could go online or on a computer and caucus that way. That plan was scrapped due to the potential for hacking and fraud. But if you would like to attend the Nevada caucus, you can go to IWillVote.com, put in your address. It'll give you all the locations for early caucus, and it'll also give you the uh, location for uh, the February 22nd caucus. So if you want to do that, you can go to IWillVote.com. Reporting live, I'm Enzo Marino, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.